Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, in this uh, video, I am sharing some of my learnings from the Satipatthana Sutra, which is the Buddha's teaching on the discourse on the, full, the four foundations of mindfulness. Now, this is a very, very, very important discourse, one of the, said to be the, fun, one of the fundamental teachings of the Buddha. And it is even said that, you know, it is in some homes, in Buddhist homes, it is, uh, you know, they, they recite this uh, sutra every day and it, it is even recited at the time of a person's death. So this is very, very, very important sutra. So I urge you that if you are watching this video or listening to it as a podcast, uh, please do uh, uh, download this text. The link to this text is in the description. So do download and read the, read the full text. You will get your own meaning. What my aim here through this video is to make Buddha's, through this channel is to make Buddha's teaching simple, right? So what I'm trying to do is that I'm just covering the, the, the key points of this particular discourse. And later on, then if you feel, then you can go and uh, deep down and drill into the uh, uh, or deeper aspects of this discourse. This actually, there are books that are written on only this discourse. It is as deep as, as it can get. Right? But uh, we have to all start from somewhere. So this discourse is where Buddha said about mindfulness, how to practice practice mindfulness. So the all current day teachings of you, that you see of mindfulness, they all come from this discourse. But many of the teachers who teach, you know, mindfulness has become so diluted that not, many of the teachers who teach, they do not even know uh, or do not even tell to their students that this is coming from the Buddha and this is coming from this discourse. Right? So Buddha says, Okay, one more thing is that this is what we are discussing is theory, right? In practical, what if you want to do, then there is a very good way what uh, Mahasi Sedao, a Burmese monk, showed the path through the Sadhipatthana Vipassana exercises. So you can practice insight meditation, and uh, which is a which is a practical way to implement these teachings in our sitting meditation and in our daily life. So you can check my video on insight meditation also. You can join my insight meditation live. Uh, session that I do every Monday uh, on the on my YouTube channel uh, at 8 p.m. IST. As of now, this is the time, right? Uh, okay. So let us start. So uh, Buddha says that uh, there are four kinds of mindfulness meditation, which are which are uh, uh, the path to convergence. Path to convergence is where two lines meet. So what is the two lines? It's basically me and the Nirvana, my goal, right? So Buddha says. Do only these four kinds of mindfulness meditation to reach your goal, right? So, now, benefits. Now, what are the benefits of practicing this mindfulness meditation? Buddha gives us five benefits. Buddha says, it will purify you. Second, it will take you past sorrow and crying. Third, Buddha says, it will make an end to the pain and sadness in your life. Fourth, it will help you discover the system. And fifth, it is to realize extinguishment. That means, extinguishment of what? extinguishment of this I, this permanent self that is keeping me bound, right? Because of my permanent self, I think my wrong notion that I have a permanent self, I get bound to objects, right? So all these five things it will do. In short, Buddha says, this is what I am giving you, a direct path to liberation, direct path to get freedom from suffering. This is as direct as Buddha went, as Buddha did, went uh, in his words when he said uh, this sutra. Right now, Buddhist, what are the four things that we need to be mindful of? Buddha says four things are body, feelings, minds, and principles. Right, so we will take it one by one, and even that one thing will have sub parts. Right, so I will keep it very, very simple. I don't want to complicate it. If you want detailed understanding, there are a lot of commentaries, big, big two, two hour commentaries that are available on YouTube. Go and check that. Right, but to get a beginner insight, uh, I'm keeping it simple. So when we so first thing is Buddha says about mindfulness of body. Now within that there are sub parts like breathing, posture, situational awareness, focusing on the re focusing on the uh, repulsive elements, channel count contemplations. These are six uh, parts, sub parts to the first uh, 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 part, right? Body. So first is breathing. Breathing. What Buddha says is just now. All these four they don't have to be done simultaneously. Whichever one you feel right now it is arising, you can just be mindful. So sometimes it may be mindfulness of breathing, sometimes it may be mindfulness of impermanence, sometimes it may be mindfulness of this state of your mind, the unpleasantness or the disappointment, the disappointedness 
of your mind. So you can, at a time, you can take one and be mindful. Right? See, the important thing understand, Buddha says is that we do not have to get lost. Mind will make you lose into the various things. Right? We have to, so sexual desire, if it comes, then, then our mind gets lost in that and then we do certain actions. Right? We masturbate or you know, do engage in sexual activity and lose our spiritual energy. This is where Buddha says is be mindful of everything. Greed happens, disappointment happens, unpleasant feelings arise. You know, everything be mindful. Till the time we, be, we are mindful, what happens is these latent tendencies in us, greed, anger, hatred, they do not find a way to express themselves outside. How we create karma? We create karma when we see an object outside, we are not mindful and this allows the latent defilements in us to rise and then we do certain acts through our eyes, ears, body, right? And then we create karma for ourselves. So what is the solution? Mindfulness. Mindfulness is like a guard, right? It's like a, you put a watchman. If you have a, um, some valuables in your home, you put a watchman outside. So that, that watchman will ensure that any intruder comes, the watchman will take care of it. Th that way, we have to practice our mindfulness. So how to practice? Number one, when we are discussing body, one is breathing. Now, breathing can be various types, heavy, slow. You can experience the whole body in your breathing, right? So what basically we have to do is that we have to just be aware of the breathing. Right, so an easy way, a practical way to do it is bring your bring your uh, awareness on the abdomen and thus focus on the rising and falling of the abdomen as you breathe in and breathe out. Only that, right? When when you breathe in, the abdomen goes out. When you breathe out, the abdomen falls. It's just be aware of that breathing. This in only this practice, if you do this only practice, can even take you to liberation. What Buddha said in the Anapanasati Sutra is. That only and only even if you ma practice mindfulness of breathing, that is also sufficient. Right? So just we practice the in and out of the breathing. So this is number one. So Buddha said the an analogy of a carpenter. When making a deep cut, he knows that he is making a deep cut. By making a shallow cut, they know I am making a shallow cut. Right? That, that way, what basically we have to do, if we are breathing shallow, we just have to know that we are breathing shallow. When we are breathing deep, we just have to know that we are breathing deep. No need to change the breathing. Just be aware of the breathing. That is number one. Number two, posture. That means, Buddha says, when mendicant is walking, he knows I am walking. When standing, he knows I am sit standing. When sitting, they know I am sitting. When lying down, they know I am lying down. Whatever posture of the body is there, they know it. So, what we have to do is that, be aware. In, if you are standing, just that awareness that I am standing right now. I am sitting right now. I am moving to sit right now. I am moving to stand right now. All that awareness we need to have. Third is situational awareness. So where Buddha says that even when you go and come back, you have to be aware. When looking ahead and aside, when bending and extending the limbs, right, while bearing the outer robe, bowl and robes, when eating, drinking, chewing, tasting, urinating, defecating, walking, standing, sitting, sleeping, walking, sleeping, keeping silent, all times you need to be mindful. So this is the crux of the practice. This is the practice that Buddha gave where you do not get even a moment uh, 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 free. right? So in a day, it's not that you just do your sitting meditation, it's over. In every movement, try as much as possible, be aware. right? For example, you are just taking a, you know, a cup of tea in your hand yeah, right? and then you are drinking. So that whole process of taking the cup of tea to your lips, and then drinking and then swallowing the whole thing, that whole thing going down. Try as much to be aware. If you can aware 10% also, that is also fine, no problem. But just be try to be aware of that. Then Buddha says focusing on the repulsive. So here basically Buddha says this body, you know, try to focus on the repulsive aspects. You know, we only think this is a surface level, we think we take care of a lot of things of our body. But do you know that our body is also composed of things like mucus? pus, excreta, all these things. We are basically a combination, blood, sinews, everything, we are, we are a combination. So we reflect on ourselves that we are basically a combination of all these things. So what it basically does is that it takes away the kind of attraction that you have over our body. This attraction, this clinging to our body keeps us in the cycle of samsara. So Buddha knows very well, you know, this is how people will get stuck. So he knows that, okay, start, this is 
one more mindfulness buddha says now the buddha is basically what he is doing in this sutra is he is giving us ideas more and more ideas so you can focus on breathing you can focus on postures you can focus on the this body and the unattractiveness of the body so buddha says in this body there is head hair nails teeth skin flesh sinews bones bone marrow kidney heart liver diaphragm spleen lungs undigested food feces bile phlegm phlegm pus blood sweat fat tears grease saliva snot synovial fluid urine so when you just see that what all i am composed of all your you know attractiveness towards not only your body suppose if you are sexually attracted to a like a woman right then you can just focus on the uh, rep- repulsiveness the various aspects of a woman and then automatically that repulsiveness can arise and similarly if you're a woman and you have a problem of sexual desires you can focus on that the various you know parts of a man's body and then you realize that he is a combination of all that so what looks at is this in the surface what gives you sexual attraction the what waters your sexual seeds you know when you do this kind of a contemplation it will vanish right so buddha says that then elements then now buddha says that we are all composed of elements right this is all elements that we have water air fire right these elements are there so buddha says that wherever you are sitting whatever you are doing just observe the various elements right so for example it is said in the mahasi gives a very good example is that when you are sitting it's basically the air element right now that is activated in you that's why you are like an inflated balloon right and when drowsiness comes what happens is that you know the earth element the heavier element that becomes active so become we become like drowsy and we become feel like sleeping so just be aware of this play of elements so buddha's fundamental thing was that please be aware of the various things that are arising and falling in you right you are just a kind of a you know some total of the various things that are happening you don't have an individual self right these things are arising and falling in you right okay then comes channel ground contemplations again buddha says here buddha says is that thing that you are body is decomposed you are dead and two three days has have happened and your body is lying there what happens the body will become swollen decomposed all you know the blue all the things and you know worms will start eating it start contemplating how when after your death how what will happen to your body right all that you know rep- generates a repulsion in us you know that we think that our body is permanent and that repulsion starts to generate in us so that is one thing more buddha says then coming to so that is body so again recapping the body buddha says uh, the breathing posture situational awareness focusing on the repulsive elements and channel ground contemplation that are various ideas buddha gives as in the body second is feelings so f- f- feelings buddha says that whenever whenever you find uh, you, you feel pleasant feeling just reflect on the pleasant that i am right now having a pleasant feeling same for painful feeling if you have this painful feeling if you have a neutral feeling just be mindful of that neutral feeling also right so that is the second uh, uh, foundation of mindfulness feelings third is mind now mind the state of the mind just for example right now your mind is filled with greed or right now your mind is filled with sexual desire or right now your mind is filled with disappointment just be aware of that state of the mind the moment you become aware of the state of the mind it actually just vanishes right so that way just we need to be uh, mindful then principles now principles is a bit kind of an advanced thing but still i will share now in principles there are certain sub portions like hindrances aggregates sense fields awakening factors and noble truths right so what one by one i will share so hindrances how what are the hindrances what are the hindrances it is desire ill will restlessness remorse doubt now three these any of these things can come so right now if doubt comes i'll be aware of my doubt and you know, at this time if restlessness is arising in me i'll be aware of the restlessness then aggregates what are the five aggregates form feeling perception volition consciousness now if you are not able to go down deep into it don't worry right you can study later but basically what are the things that arise it may be a feeling it may be a perception it may be a form right then sense fields eye ear nose so you can just be aware of the eye 
you can be aware of this nose wherever it is this so five sense fields right? then awakening factors there are certain awakening factors like mindfulness investigation energy rapture tranquility immersion equanimity now these they see there are five spiritual hindrances for example if you are uh, if you which when you start your practice there are doubt restlessness they come so we become aware then as your practice grows and expands the awakening factors also come in like mindfulness investing so we don't have to even stuck in that we have to just be aware that right now i am i am in a very mindful state i am in a very rapturous state i am in a blissful state i am feeling very tranquil right now so just being aware aware of those states in you then four noble truths that is what are the four noble truths this is suffering suffering is caused by craving there is a way to cease the suffering and the way to cease the suffering is the noble eightfold path again you can be mindful of that also that if you just reflect on something and you know you some unfortunate thing you see you know some animal killed on the road and you see the suffering that is the animal has seen and you see the suffering that you are facing and you just reflect that this is suffering the cause is the craving and cessation and the cessation is the noble so just be aware the reflect on the four noble truths this is also one of the paths buddha says now buddha says so this is basically the four body feelings mind and principles we these are the four kind of ideas that buddha has given and even within the idea uh, the main uh, sub, uh, sections buddha has also given the sub sections so it is upon us how we practice there are so many ways we can be aware now now buddha says is that anyone who develops this four kind of ma- mindfulness meditation for seven years can expect one of the two results either total enlightenment in this present life or if something is left over he can be a non returner that means you do not need to return to the earth you can just go and you know from the higher realms you can be free so this is how but how you know uh, important this statement is then buddha says let alone seven years anyone who develops these four kinds of mindfulness meditation for six years five years four years three years two years one year seven months six months five months four months three months two months one month fortnight let alone a fortnight anyone who develops these four kinds of mindfulness meditation for seven days can expect one of the two results either full enlightenment or becoming a non returner so again buddha says and i just wanted to quote it again the four kinds of mindfulness meditation are the path to convergence they are in order to purify sentient beings to get past sorrow and crying to make an end of pain and sadness to discover the system and to realize extinguishment right so this is the the importance of following this path buddha's path was of awareness of mindfulness and this in this text buddha has given us what we need to follow this is the actual theory in practical mahasi said out instructions you can see on how you know we can do it in our daily life right so i hope this video was useful in some way and i just hope that this video inspires even one person to go and study the discourse given by the buddha and implement in in your life please do give me suggestions or pointers i want to take buddha's teachings make it as simple so that the teaching can go to many many people so do you find my videos helpful do you have any suggestions for me do 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 please, please put it in the uh, uh, in the comment section and i'll be very very grateful for your for your feedback uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye